this is a tutorial about basic tutorial on uh, basic A-frame usage. So we're going to be making a project. Uh, should take maximum like half an hour, hopefully. Uh, creating a 3D room. So uh, basically, we'll be creating a scene with A-frame. A-frame is a framework for building like VR. Uh, it's quite new, it's been around a few years, I think, maybe two or so, was developed through by Mozilla. And, you know, obviously a lot of developers have contributed to the project. Uh, and the project we'll be making uh, is to build a 3D room cube and then have some sort of interactive element on it. So probably a video that plays, uh, we'll see, at the very least a texture or some sort of uh, something like this. So I'll give you a basic introduction to A-Frame, uh, a little bit of an overview of how to add geometry with A-Frame, and it should be quite an interesting project. I'm not going to make it too hard because uh, I just want to make it entry level, just building a cube. So yeah, without further ado, let's start the tutorial. So first off, you want to uh, set our projects up. Uh, and for this tutorial, I'm just going to uh, I want to start using source code and GitHub or Git Kraken specifically for this project. But I thought it'd be good practice to start doing that in some of these projects. So I'm not going to give a long and elaborate uh, overview of GitHub, but let's create a let's just initiate a new project up here. GitHub. D cube room A frame tutorial tutorial A tutorial so we can track all the changes that's a real advantage of uh, some GitHub of course F to build a cube room. Access there, yes. Well, my license is going to be MIT because it's just education. And let's create a repository. Okay. So you can obviously use Git Kraken, command line, loads of different Git help. I just like Git Kraken or even Source Tree. I like Git Kraken myself, so that's why I use that one. Uh, okay, let's have a quick look at A Frame, website for A Frame. Uh, as you can see, it's framework. You can, and it's the beauty of A-Frame is you can build stuff with HTML quite fast. Like you'll see, this this tutorial will probably take, I think, twenty minutes. The video, the hard part is going to be the video, I suppose. But uh, yeah, so these are some things that people. Let's have a look at some things people have built. Some people have built some very, very, very really cool things. Like this. So this is one example of Moon Rider. So, I mean, look at this, this is beautiful. Sort of matches the lighting as well, actually, which is cool. But yeah, so we're going to create something obviously a little bit more simpler than this. But I just thought I'd give you a quick sample of what you can do with this thing. Okay, so I'm just going to put that to one side. So I'm going from the docs. Um, this is the basic things you need in place for running it. There's an Axe script reference to CDN, which is a minified A-frame JavaScript code. Now let's just copy and paste this code. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna want so I need to open up the folder first, the visual code. I created it in 3D cube room, there we go, select folder. Now all our changes will be tracked in here as well because we've so we normally like index.html and probably a JavaScript page in a bit as well. Let's just see what this does. So let's go open that up. It should now load up. Yeah, so there we have some basic components rendered using A frame. That's just the uh, this of course is just the example thing, so we're gonna modify it a bit. 
create something different because we don't want we want the plane here, but we don't want uh, all these other objects that are in here. Okay, so it's good that that's working. That means that the A-frame minified JS is working, which is good. So what do we want here? We want we want the sky still. Let's just do something simple like change the color. Uh, try this red. This this is just the real part. Look at that. What else? I don't have to do anything else. I just change an attribute in the HTML here, which is gray sky, and it, that's it's as simple as that. that could, it couldn't be simpler than that. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to have red sky, so I'm just gonna change. Uh, so basically, how you structure the HTML in this uh, creating a basic scene like we want to do. We have a container um, HTML element here called A-C, which is where you put all your information for the, the create. Some positioning um, attributes, which tell, tells the engine exactly where it's going to get placed. To rotation, which says, let's see, for example, for the box, for the box here, it's sort of rotated around. It's not straight on view. It's first, it's 45 degrees. And then it's got a color, so you can change that to like. So you can change straight away, I think. Also, a hex value as well. I'm just being lazy because just to demonstrate that you can change colors easily. Um, so, I think what we want to do first is just get rid of some of these things we don't need. So, we don't need a sphere. So, we're going to have a sphere in this to get rid of it. We're going to keep a box, it's going to be the walls. Cylinder, we don't need. So there we go, just get rid of those, so we have this down, and it's just got a box here. So, okay, that's all good. We probably want to uh, make this a bit bigger. So look, it's literally this easy, this is how beautiful this, pack, this uh, framework is. So I want it to be a bit wider, let's just do 15 for that straight away. It changes. How simple is that? I mean, it couldn't really get simpler than that, uh, to be honest. <laughs> so, maybe change this color to. Well, we'll, add, we'll go on to adding uh, textures as well in a bit. I just want to do the basics first. Let's uh, change some of the positionings. So yeah, that's, I think the minor core there is just how far away it is from the on the, I think it's X, Y, Z. Uh, so I'll change that back to minus four. And when I was going through all this before, I just, uh, I sort of just tinkered with these positionings and then just that, see so that's, you want that at 90 degrees because it's, that's 90 degrees much more than works. So it's, it's try and make this in the void. Let's try and figure out how wide we want this. So. Okay, so we're modifying the height there makes it. So let's make it 25 by 25. Just there we go. We've got like a. Uh, we've got a plane now which is just a flat surface. So that's good. That's the start, the start of our cube room. Wow. So yeah, the power of this thing is that you can just write in HTML and it's so easy and it supports uh, PR views out of the box, which is pretty fucking powerful considering it's, this is in HTML. Right for the HTML to put this stuff in. So that's it. Of this texture, we've got a texture from before. We put this within, sorry, not there, within the A scene. And so we're putting in, this is where we put all our assets, like textures we're going to use and stuff. Uh, so I've got ID floor, I've created one called. An image ID floor, which goes to that source image, and then to actually put it onto the floor, you've got material equals source. 
colon ID four. Ran into a little snaggle that touched it before, so I'll just swap it out there. I'm not sure why it happened. I'm not sure why it's still happening. Uh, FTP details is uploading this onto my server, so it's on a web server because it might be cause is blocking it for. There we go. Ta da! We have a texture running. It was caused, I think there was blocking the issue before, so that's sort of annoying. So uh, I'll just have a note of if you want to see the textures come up, make sure to load them onto a uh, web space, like I just uploaded this into a folder on my, on my site. So there we go, we have that, we have the textures loading, which is good. I guess next we want to create the walls. So we need to figure out the positioning for them. So it's just these green streets like So the size of the room is 25, so I think you want minus 25 to And then I can, a lot of the actual, figuring out the positioning, you can, I mean, you can do it. I like to do it this way. Idiot. Just realised I wasn't updating my come on. Ah, there we go. So there it is, and there's also colour blue as well, so I put blue on it in colours, so that's quite cool. It's in zero, zero, zero from where I am, the camera view is. So let's put that, I want to put that I think minus 25 I think, like that. Minus 25. So do this, hopefully it'll change straight away. Probably a bit too so there we go, we've changed the position now and I think it's almost there, probably needs to be like minus 10 or something. Well, anyway, we need to make it bigger for a start because it's not big enough wall. So let me pull it off. There we go. So we've got a very high wall, then it's a bit too high actually. So we want to be 50. And then we want the width. And this will give us a better idea. Of, oh, this will give us an actual better idea of where the. Um, 15 probably as well. Where the wall is going to be exactly on the canvas. So I should widely disappear. What? Width. Set so width to 25. Most. <laughs> what? Oh, because I'm in it. Right. I was just very confused then, but I was just basically spawning into the box itself. Very confusing. So you can see how wide that is now. And I need to think about the positioning and where to make it better, less tall, make it probably 25 or 25, I think. Really? 
stick. So let's have a look at the code. So it's clear. So we've got position should be zero there. Like zero. Just want the don't want it to spawn into the the player's face line. So we have to move it back somewhat. Okay, so that's in line. That's in line. Basically, you just need to move it back to the side of. So, I think it's the X axis you need to move. Should have really calculated this beforehand. I think that's our first uh, wall done. I think it's a bit off, but so we need to build add a few more. Build position maybe in the town hall. We also need to make it higher up on the y axis. So this will be the I think the plane in which we play a video. Yeah, have a, I'll just do that now, so that's sort of done. So yeah, you can see that's on the edge of the plane. It just needs to be up, so it's not hanging up like that. Let's just double check that it's not gone underground. That's the jam. Like <laughs> you have to move computer programmers. That's Okay, I think we're good now. I think it does look slightly at an angle, but I'm not sure if it's just the original quality. This needs to go up a little bit more, like 12 or something. Ah, yeah, 12 by 12 by 12. God damn it. Okay, 13. Fuck me. So, F me. Okay, 12 and a half. It really does take a lot of fiddling around when you do it this way. There's an A-frame a sort of editor thing, I'm sure, but I, I'm trying to show that you can just position all this with HTML, I guess. Bada bing, bada bosh! Look what we have there. Okay, we've got one of our walls now, so let's just replicate this. Uh, this one. Again. Ah, okay, it's going to the side, so it's going to this. There we go. I just need to reduce the side. So... On that other side, minus 12. I think there we go. That is that, as they say. I think I'm gonna check. We've got two. We've got it halfway done now. So that's pretty cool. Yes, that is correct. So we've got this room now. We've got two other ones. So we just need to essentially copy paste rotate. Um, 
the other one we want, we want to rotate uh, one of the axes is 90. I think the Okay, then that's the top, but that's still the top of that. Let's put it in the Y axis. Okay, that's all the Put our roof in place here. It's 25 up, isn't it? So we want it 25 up. Yep, it's just on the right Y axis. Right, it's, it's up vertically correctly now. Just need to get it across. Uh, here's some scenery, maybe. There we go. Because it's bang in the middle, that's our roof done now. So, is that a good bit done? Good. Okay, so next we want uh, one of these, just rotated around. I think that's the, so I think it's here. It should work, hopefully. Do something in there. Ah, no. Okay, so we need to. Sort of split them in. So it's, uh, it's on one side, I just need to shift it over a bit. So create a mental map in my head. That's probably something you have to really do with this thing. Just try to mentally map it in your head. There we go. So just to, it's just a lot of tinkering now, most of the time, to be honest. So we're almost there with the actual cube now. So basically, I just need to do that. Just So basically just this one, zero and 12 from five, should do it. There we go. So we have a cube. Uh, so these are our two sidewalls. I'll take this sidewalls. So we've got sidewalls. Good to annotate your code and also you want let's tidy it up a bit so we've got four. Let's just annotate it, make it easier to read and understand. It's not a perfect cube, I don't think but it's, a, it's a sort of cube like shape. Maybe change its texture, it's a bit or what we could do, which would be quite cool, it's just That's also a good way to debug, I suppose, which wall you're working on. Sometimes you can get a bit, little bit confusing. So if I want, we want the top one there, and then each one that's next to it to be the opposite colour. So I don't really want it to be. I think I want this one to be red. So we'll try and mess, mess around with that a little bit. It's probably a good, it's a good way to yeah, figure out where you're at because as you can tell it's sometimes a bit difficult to figure out exactly uh, which. Okay. So lastly we're going to add a video box. Video, video screen. So, just 
your best. Be pretty looking forward, I guess. Let's see whether I get to make it pink, just to make it obvious. So. Because you can see it's a nice and that. You can see where it's already zero up from the start of the way. Just make it in the middle somewhere. There we go. Don't want it that big, it needs to be smaller. So make it 10 by 10. Smaller. That's see the screen. Uh, yeah, 15 by. 15, no, 15, 15, 15, 15 by 10. Uh, adding this is a yeah. The Y, so I'm going to put it on probably. 13, so it should be in the sky now a bit, not in the sky, but up a bit. Yeah, so it's up there. Uh, I want to put it back a bit, put it down a little bit more as well, so make it 8. And then Okay, I don't want to rotate it around. Uh, 90 degrees, I think. I think that should work. Yeah, it does, sort of. I just need to move it out a little bit more. It's either 11 or 13, I can't reach, but just quickly see. There you go. There we go, we have our film screen now. So what we're gonna do next is just play a film on it, I guess. Put it in as an asset first. So I'm gonna put it in here. Asset. Video. I want to add it on the pink one. Source there, material source my video. And I just need to find a video now. So let's grab a video. Pink one here somewhere. Let's grab a video of Mario and Yoshi kissing. <laughs> Mario and Luigi kid. No, uh, there we go. So I, uh, so I'll embed well I'll do actually is embed this video into this tutorial, I guess. But uh that's essentially the end of this one. So you've got a 3D video playing there, you've got a box room, you can add more bits and bobs, but that's the basic crux of the tutorial basically. Look at that light as well. Oh, looks so cool. So you can put any video in there, which is good. That's just literally what I put in because it's just that's a quick tutorial showing you how to make a cube room in... Enjoy.